I don't know how to say this. Last month, I uploaded a video on how to change your font. Well, just a month later, the video doesn't work anymore. And I feel ashamed for giving you such false information. I feel you going into a video and thinking you it will work and it doesn't work. Huh? There's a new method out? <laughs> okay, change the title of the video, it won't be an apology video anymore. Later losers! Alright, so here we are. I have a Galaxy S20 Plus here, running on heat. This is running One UI 3.1, but don't worry, this will work for all One UI versions since Android 10. Now, first of all, you need to be signed in into your Samsung account. Well, you need to install this app called Mono Flip Font Custom TTF Installer for Samsung One UI. It's developed by Satish Tony, I hope I spelled that correctly. And the link is in the description, of course. It's an amazing app. So in order to download the correct file, Go to the end, here, and install Mono 2.1. Tap on it. Download the file. After it's finished downloading, go to My Files, or whatever file explorer you're using, and go to Downloads. There, tap on Mono. This will show up. Just click on Settings. Allow from this source. You can disable it later. Install. After it... <clears throat> After it is installed, open it, allow, allow from this source, because it will install the fonts. And this is the home page. As you can see, the steps are here too, so this video is useless, so bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, I was joking. Now, Samsung account signed in, I'm signed in. Then, install Samsung Sans. Install. I will explain it later what this does. Then you have to select Samsung Sans, click on select, tap on select, I, I forgot this is not a cursor. Samsung Sans, I set it. Then back up settings to your Samsung Cloud. Well, some carriers hide the option to back up from Samsung Cloud. I don't have a Snapdragon device with me because those are mostly that don't allow it, but I think this button will work even if you don't have it. You can also try Activity Launcher to launch Samsung Cloud in hidden settings. Okay, tap on backup. Tap on select all and select only settings. Backup. Okay, it's finished. Done. Go back. From the internet, you can install any TTF font. Even if it's not TTF, you can convert easily any font you want. On the XDA forum from before, there is this link. It has a lot of fonts. Like, look, that's a lot. In this case, I have downloaded Google Sans. Go to internal storage. And as you can see, there is a monofonts folder. That's where you have to move your font. So I will hold it, move, and move my font here, monofonts. TTF, move here. Now that it's moved here, I go back to the app and load TTF. It will show all your fonts. As you can see, it showed Google Sans here. Tap on it. I selected it. Now you tap on install. It will ask to uninstall the Samsung Sans. Okay. And then it will ask to install Samsung Sans. Well, this is not Samsung Sans. It's actually the Google Sans font or your custom font disguised as Samsung Sans. Install. Select. Tap on default. And then tap on restore settings. Select all. Tap on it. And then select only settings. So what we did here is we tricked Samsung into thinking that it's restoring actually the Samsung Sans font, but it's actually restoring the Samsung Sans disguised as Google Sans. And now, as you can see, it applied the Google Sans font. Let me. Can you see it? It's the Google Sans font. Now you can do this with any font you want. And if you want to install another font, just repeat all the steps. You can do any font you want. Just please don't do Comic Sans. Please do not. So that's all. Enjoy your custom fold. Hope you enjoyed this video.
If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to become a pro. And see you when this doesn't work anymore so I can cry again. Love you. <laughs>